Hello, I'm Katie Derham and I'm proud to be a patron of the St Peter and St James Hospice, a place that plays such a crucial role in the Sussex community. It's also a place that I suspect will surprise you. So in this short film, we want to tell you a little bit more about the vital care that's provided here by wonderful staff in these stunning surroundings. We provide a range of uh, groups and activities for people to access here, including complementary therapies and uh, arts and craft therapies. We offer a regime of exercise programs for people for rehabilitation and lots of different workshops and groups to enhance well-being. And people come here to live well towards the end of life. It really enhances their experience. There's lots of social um, relationship building here and peer support, which really helps people to live well towards the end of life. Prescription is through your GP but um, they can be very helpful because they're so experienced. The volunteers are, are, are marvellous. They're so caring. It's such a caring, caring atmosphere. Most of the care we provide is taken to people's homes because that's where people are. Very few patients come in to be cared for here. One of the key services that we take to people's homes is the welfare service. People don't realise how expensive it is to be ill. If you think about it, you have to go for a lot of hospital appointments that's transport or parking costs, or you're at home a lot more, so in the winter months your heating and lighting bills may be more, or people want to know how you are, or you want to be in touch with people because you may feel a little isolated, you're not able to do the things you used to do. We help people look at their budgets, we look at where there might be benefits that they're entitled to that will support them and help them worry less about those additional costs. We are there for our patients and their families, primarily their carers, when they need us. So I'm part of a team of clinical nurse specialists. We are based at St Peter and St James Hospice, um, but our caseloads are community patients. We have just over 200 people on our caseload currently, and we liaise very closely with all community services in ensuring that they have the best care at home. So we liaise very closely with GPs, district nurses, um, local care agencies, physiotherapists, intermediate care, you know, a number of community teams, we sort of facilitate and liaise with those in order to ensure that there's the best care at home. Well, I made the decision, I think, following basically discussions with my GP and also my family members. Uh, I think it was really more of a personal view that um, from a humanistic side of things, it was more appropriate for me to go down the route of a hospice rather than the prospect of, of being in hospital and also the fact that one never knows how one's going to be at the end of life. In that respect, I didn't want my wife and family to be faced with the consequences of possibly me being at home at the time. Um, it really depends very much on how, how one feels at the time, to be honest. I've been very pleased with the support we've received from the hospice. <clears throat> Wasn't really sure what uh, to expect, but I have to say that um, Ruth has become more of a friend really than, than somebody who just visits me to see how I am. And the, the same goes for the hospice itself. I get regular emails as to the classes that they're running and if anything takes my fancy then you know, if I feel well enough then obviously I can visit and, and take up those resources. And that's very nice to know. It's nice to know there's somebody at the end of the phone that you can talk to if you have a problem, however small. And I think that's uh, extremely worthwhile. Karen and I were married for 49 years and I knew her a bit longer than that. This is our home, we've lived here for 29 years and Carol loved it. It's all our family memories here and she wanted to, to live her last days here and die here if that was at all possible. She was very ill in hospital and um, St Peter and St James Hospice got involved with us and uh, with the hospital and she was able to come home. We had all the facilities provided here and her wish to die here with her family round here was, was what we achieved and I was next to her when she died and, and that I think was a great comfort to us all. I could not wish for a better care, better nurses, I mean it's just incredible. And that, that's, that's just, you know, covering um, half of it. <laughs> I mean the food is wonderful, the company is wonderful, if I'm upset I get company right away. If everything I ask for is here. I've been given far more reassurance than I expected and I have come on a long way considering where I'm, I've been. I thought I would have gone by now, not being, you know, 
but they've just they've just kept me going all the time because they reassure me all the time and I'm not going to give in <laughs> they, they really are absolutely amazing my nurses and I couldn't I couldn't do without them they're they're a, they're a team to me so here in the inpatient unit people can come for a day or two however long they need um, for their care from highly professional qualified staff um, in surroundings that are modern, comfortable um, and where they feel at ease at a very emotional and stressful time in their life. Nobody wants to experience the services of a hospice but when my husband was diagnosed with terminal cancer we were so grateful for the care and support that we all received here as a family and that's why I decided to become a trustee here to make sure that the services that we've had here for the last 40 years are around for families like ours for the next 40 years. As you've been hearing, all these wonderful services cost money to provide and most of that money has to come from donations from you. It's been here since 1975 and we'd really like to provide funding to support it for many, many more years to come. If ever you or your loved ones need the support of St Peter and St James, it will be free. But we need your help now. Please give what you can.